Hey everyone, I'm Jesse from DarkstormReviews.com and welcome to my 317 subscriber contest, finally. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video, uh, about comics anyway, and uh, <clears throat> but I've actually shot a bunch of other videos that I haven't uploaded yet. I just got really lazy because all these video games came out and I had to do this and that and uh, so yeah, I've fallen behind quite a bit, but I'm starting to catch up on everybody else's videos um, today and yesterday. Okay, so to enter the contest, uh, you must of course be subscribed to this channel at the time uh, of this video going up, which is, uh, there's 317 subscribers, and thank you all very much, and, uh, and you must make a video, although it doesn't have to be public, um, if you don't have a, a, a channel and you, um, you know, don't want to have your video public for whatever reason, uh, that's fine, it can be a private video, but you do have to make a video. Question time. Oh. Check out my new iPhone 6 plus, uh, 6S, not Plus. Plus is way too big. Yeah, I got this on uh, Black Friday. What new series uh, have come out recently uh, that you really like, that you think are good? Um, I've got a few. Uh, my pull list keeps getting uh, smaller, even though I've added some new stuff over the last little while. Uh, my pull list continues to get smaller. There's a lot of mini series. Um, that I was collecting have ended. Um, I don't give new series much of a chance anymore. If it doesn't grab me at issue one, I don't have the time or the money or the space <laughs> to, to bother. Um, but there have been a few uh, new series recently that uh, I thought have been really good so far. Uh, Paper Girls is one. I've been enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, I just read this today. Uh, Spidey. Uh, this is the Scotty Young variant. Um, this will probably be taking the place of Amazing Spider-Man for me. I am really sick and tired of Amazing Spider-Man coming out twice a month. I really hate that. Uh, I know so does Adam Day and Carnage Man. That's been bothering me for a long time, and I don't think the current story is that great anyway. Um, he is my favorite hero, but eh, I just don't think I, I can be bothered anymore. And especially with this, which is going to be monthly, one a, one a month, and this was a ton of fun. Um, it's like an alternate timeline, basically. Like Peter Parker is still a student, um, but it's current day. So sort of like a retelling, but not really. Um, it, it, like I said, it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I think that's going to be my, my Spider-Man book. Uh, Beauty. I've been enjoying this a lot because you know it's pretty different. Um, very interesting stuff. I haven't read issue four yet, but I have it. Uh, Scotty Young's uh, I Hate Fairyland. I'm a big Scotty Young fan, so I've been enjoying this quite a lot. Excuse me. Plutona. This is just a four issue mini series, um, so there's only one more to go. But this is, uh, I've been enjoying this a lot about a, a, a it's sort of like sort of like Stand By Me with a superhero, the dead superhero. These kids find a dead superhero, Plutona, and uh, nobody knows why she died. Nobody, the pub, general public doesn't even know that she's died yet, but they find her out in the woods. Um, it's really cool, very interesting. I like it. And uh, Black Magic, I haven't read issue two yet, but I liked issue one a lot more than I thought I would. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading this, just haven't gotten around to it yet. And probably the best new series that I've uh, read so far, and it's still just issue one, I think issue two comes out this week, is Monstrous. This is amazing. The art is amazing, the writing is amazing. Uh, I could not recommend this series more highly. Uh, if you have not picked this up, you've got to go find it. Uh, I know there's a second printing that came out uh, very recently, or this week? Maybe it's this week that it comes out. If you missed this, grab the center, grab <coughs> Grab the second printing. It's uh, it's just outstanding, and it's it's four ninety nine. But it's the, unlike a lot of Marvel and DC books that charge you that price. This is actually worth it. This is like sixty seven, sixty eight pages, no ads, and it's all quality. There's no filler here. Um, I don't even want to go into it too much. Um, this is not supposed to be a review anyway. <laughs> Look this up. Look up the. Uh, uh, the preview like on, on CBR or something. Um, check it out. Really outstanding stuff. Oh, question two. Uh, do you do any kind of um, exercise, physical activity, you know, anything like that? Like do you, do you 
work out? Do you play sports? Walk the dog? You know, um, anything uh, like that. Um, like for many, many years, um, all I like, I'm not a sports fan myself, and so for many, many years, all I did uh, was uh, stretch in the morning and uh, just work out with some dumbbells that I had. I, I had a, a pair of weights since I was 16, which I uh, finally threw away <laughs> when we moved earlier this year because uh, they were wrecked. Uh, and I got some, I got some newer ones. I got um, two of these 25 pound ones uh, right here that I just use at home. My wife uses them too. Um, but that's all I did for a, a long time. And uh, like uh, we, we did some uh, indoor rock climbing a few years ago. We did it like a couple of times and we were going to do it regularly, but then it just didn't happen. And then so earlier this year, I think we started going indoor rock climbing regularly in April. I think it was April. Uh, and we've been enjoying that a lot. Like we have memberships, we go two or three times a week. And uh, shortly after we started doing that regularly, um, I, I find my wife was already using the gym in our building. Um, um, but then I, I finally started using it as well. Um, so between, between the rock gym and the regular gym, um, I'm exercising five or six days a week, I guess. Something like, yeah, yeah, five or six days uh, a week. And uh, I've been enjoying that uh, a lot, especially the, uh, the climbing. And uh, if you've ever seen uh, indoor rock climbing, you're not sure what it is, whatever, uh, I've put up three videos, uh, most recently yesterday, actually. Uh, it's just got, uh, it's really short, it's just over like a minute and a half. Uh, it's got um, one clip of me, one of my wife, and a clip of me showing off my two finger pull-ups. <laughs> Getting better. That was the first time I did uh, five in a row, actually. I usually was just able to do three. So that was pretty, that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And uh, so yeah, the, uh, uh, if you want to see that, I'll just put a link here or here or whatever, if you want to go check that out. I mean, the indoor rock climbing has been a ton of fun and uh, I really hope to do some uh, real uh, outdoor bouldering. Um, bouldering is mostly what we do. Uh, I, I've done the rope climbing, uh, not for a long time actually. Um, really more interested in the bouldering and I want to do some real outdoor bouldering hopefully next year uh, in the summer. Um, we have to go out a little bit out of our way to do that, um, but not too far. Um, there is an area uh, in, uh, like we're in Ottawa and uh, Gatineau over on the on the Quebec side is uh, apparently a good place to do that. So I really hope to be able to do that and if I do I definitely will be shooting a lot of video of that. Um, but yeah, that, that's something I'm really looking forward to, to, to trying. Um, <clears throat> and as for the, the regular gym, um, you know, we'll swim sometimes, uh, but uh, on, a, on a regular basis, like what I'll do is I'll use the elliptical, the elliptical uh, machine, the treadmill, um, and some of the weight machines, uh, and uh, some dumbbells. Uh, uh, and if you don't do any physical activity, exercise, whatever, that's fine. It doesn't disqualify you from the contest or nothing. I'm just curious. I'm just asking. Question three, books. Uh, do you read regular books, uh, not just comics? Um, I do, but just like with anything else, I don't get around to doing it enough. Um, so I'm always behind, just like with everything else. I have too many hobbies, that's the problem. Um, anyways, uh, oops. I wanted to see The Martian, um, but uh, I wanted to read the book first, and my mom had bought the, uh, the paperback. And so she lent it to me, right here. And this has been really good. I like this a lot. Uh, I have not seen the movie yet. Um, but yeah, it was very good. Um, and right after that, I'm going to have to dig into these uh, Star Wars books that I bought a little while ago on sale at uh, Chapters. Um, this is an old one. This is uh, Splinter of the Mind's Eye. This is a very well-known uh, one. It was, it's either the first or one of the first of the Expanded Universe um, books. I forget when it was written, but it's uh, quite a while ago. Let's see if I can find... Yeah, 1978. So there you go. Um, Darth Maul. Maul Lockdown. 
the first Darth Maul book was really good. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Tarkin is supposed to be pretty good. And Lords of the Sith. Also, I've heard good things about that. And Star Wars Disciple. These were all on sale on, on chapters when I got them, like 25% off or something like that. So, or I think some of them were more than were even more than that actually. And it was a good it was a good sale, anyways. So, I'm gonna have to start diving into that soon. So yeah. So, are there any books you're currently reading or looking forward to reading? Again, um, if the answer is no, that's fine. I'm just asking. I guess I have five questions. Star Wars The Force Awakens is coming. Uh, we have our tickets already for December 17th, Thursday, opening night. Do you think Luke is evil? Uh, do you want him to be evil? Um, I hope he is. I thought I think that would be really cool, you know, like father, like son. Um, but yeah, I think that would be awesome. What, if any, video games are you playing uh, right now? Uh, new stuff, old stuff? Um, anything you're looking forward to that's not out yet or any games that are out yet but you haven't picked them up yet but you really want to. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, if you have an expo and you need this game. Uh, I did finish the campaign uh, for this, there's still plenty for me to do though. I have more side missions and uh, a couple of other, other uh, tombs I haven't uh, um, explored yet. Um, but this was amazing. Uh, I, I loved the reboot from two years ago, this is even better, this is an amazing game. Uh, Phantom Pain, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, I haven't played very much of this yet, but it's, it's good. Halo 5. This is, I, it's been a few weeks since I played this, so I really gotta get back on this. I'm not done the campaign yet. Uh, but the multiplayer so far, this is my uh, favorite Halo multiplayer that uh, I've, I've uh, played so far. Um, I think it's really really fun uh, especially the the warzone modes uh, i really like warzone uh the uncharted collection if you have a ps4 um you definitely need that and if you've already played these games on ps3 get it anyway uh on right now if you have this game you can play the uncharted 4 beta i played a little bit of it the other day uh, and i'm going to get back onto that soon before it's over on the 13th uh, star wars battlefront uh, I think almost everybody has this. <laughs> uh, but this is, it's, it's disappointing that there's no uh, single player campaign. Um, but as far as the multiplayer game goes, um, I think it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different modes. I think it's really cool. And another game that everybody has is Fallout 4. Everybody has this. Um, I haven't gotten too, too far in this yet, um, but I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, the main reason, well one of the reasons anyway I got this was because I got this really good deal uh, from Best Buy Online uh, where if you pre-ordered two or more, um, pre-ordered two or more games you got 20% off and but the increase in price in games here in Canada 20% off is a pretty big deal. Um, so with the, I, I ended up ordering, uh, pre-ordering five games and I was saving like 120 bucks altogether or something like that. So. I figured, why not get the latest COD? Um, I've been doing that every year anyway, and it's been a few weeks since I played this, so it's another one I gotta get back on. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all you need to do to, uh, to uh, enter the contest. Um, as for the prizes, I'll be showing those in a moment. Okay, hey, so these are all the uh, potential uh, prizes here, which I'll uh, zoom in on and uh, show more closely, although I'm not gonna show everything, because there's quite a lot of stuff here. Um, some of these are uh, stuff that I was trying to sell on eBay. Some of it I sold. I haven't sold anything for a while because I've just been lazy about it. And uh, other things I bought specifically for giving away in contests. Like there's a whole stack of uh, Scotty Youngs over there in the corner um, that I'll show in a moment. And some gems and uh, other doubles and stuff that I bought. So uh, let's start over at this angle here. Uh, like this right here. Uh, this is the... Uh, Black Magic first issue, uh, the uh, magazine size variant. I bought two of these, one for me and one to give away because I, I, I thought this would be a, a pretty cool uh, thing to give away if you've uh, gotten Black Magic or not. It's a really good new series so far, and this is not just uh, magazine size. It's got a lot of extra stuff in it too, uh, like uh, sketches and. Uh, 
information. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, like a lot of like production work and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. An interview. I can't remember if that was in the regular issue or not too, but there is a lot of extra stuff in here, so it's pretty cool. Okay. And Grumpy Cats, uh, I'm getting, I've been getting uh, two issues of, well, let's see if I can, <laughs> I'm getting two copies of three of the covers, um, Grumpy Cats, my favorite meme, and it's only three issues anyway, and uh, the third issue I think is it this week, so I'll have, like, actually have multiple sets that I can give away if anybody's interested, so there's the uh, first issue. And that's the second one. And I'll have three more covers pretty soon. Uh, faster than light. Uh, fairy. Oh, oh, there's the other one. <laughs> I got them both in there. One of those is mine. Um, yeah, I hate Fairyland. I, I got multiple copies of the variant. Uh, I got four or five of them, and three or four of the regular ones. So anybody who didn't get this and wants it. Um, that is a potential prize as well. Uh, what else can I show? I'll turn this around a bit. Um, so there's a whole... Uh, should angle this. <laughs> Alright. Um, so there holds a whole stack of other stuff here. There's uh, Eternal Warrior 1 to 5. Um, it was a pretty good series, but I dropped it after five. Uh, Captar issue one. Uh, the Exterminators. Is that complete? I don't think that's complete. I have a complete set myself. Uh, but these are doubles of two and four. And there's Inferno. I think that's complete Inferno. Do Bloodshot number one. I have a couple of those. Uh, the woods. Uh, try not to go through everything here. Uh, Raven, Shadow, Providence. That was just an extra double copy I got, I think, by accident. Uh, I have some Gen 13 doubles too. I collect those at conventions. Sometimes I wind up with two copies. Uh, Spaceman. Uh, I have all nine of them. Uh, the rest of them are here somewhere. <laughs> uh, Convergence. Uh, this is complete. Um, these are all uh, Tony Daniel covers, except for the first one. Uh, the first Tony Daniel cover is the one with Harley Quinn on it, and I'm keeping that one. Um, but the rest of these... Oops. Yeah, and there's some tie-ins in here, too. So... One, two, this, so these are all from two and on. That's all Tony Daniel. And some of the tie ins, too. Uh, sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of showing these. I'm just trying to do this fairly quickly. And the prices are going to be kind of like loot bags anyway. Like, you can choose some of the stuff that you want to win, and the rest of it's going to be like a surprise. So, oh, here's some, uh, this is a stack of Scotty Youngs. So over a year, well over a year ago, I started getting uh, doubles of a lot of Scotty Young uh, Marvel covers, because uh, they were all cover price. They're not cover price anymore, so I stopped doing that. But I was doing this specifically, um, for, uh, for contest prizes. And I, originally it was probably going to have a contest for 200 subscribers, and I never got around to that. So <laughs> now I'm at 317, I'm going to do it. Let's see if I can go through all these quickly enough. <laughs> I forget how many that's in here, like 27 or. Yeah, I got three of those. So. Um, silk, and that's. That's it. And is uh, Punisher one to four. 
think that's the complete first arc. Um, a Force, I liked A Force, um, but one of the great things about a lot of the 399 and up Marvel uh, titles, which is almost all of them now, uh, is they all come with digital codes. So, um, and I'm happy with just keeping the digital codes of uh, A Force and and some other stuff too, um, like Armor Wars. Uh, this is the Iron Gwen variant for the first uh, issue, and then the rest of the covers are all regular, but it's complete. Uh, so yeah, any of the Marvel stuff with the digital codes, I've used them. Just so you know. And Secret Wars, Secret Love, I got two each of the um, uh, covers. I, really, I like this, I thought this was pretty good. And that's the other cover. And this is Complete Indestructible Hulk. I think it's the whole first arc. Maybe it's not. One to four? Was there more than four in the first arc? I don't remember. But that's one to four, anyway. Um, oh yeah, got a whole bunch of uh, multiple gem copies, too. It's so one, two, subscription covers, and... Um, retailer incentive covers as well, the RI. These are all doubles as well. Do there we go. And some older stuff. Uh, I actually have, this is the second copy that I got um, as a bonus. It was ba double bagged or not double bag, double comic in one bag um, that I bought at... I can't remember if it was a con or an antique store, um, but the other comic that was in the bag is the one that I wanted. I already had this. I actually bought that off the shelf when it came out, so there's that. And I got an extra Batman 40. This was hard to find, but I guess it's not anymore. <laughs> Strangers in Paradise, Volume 1 and 2, Pocket Edition. I have the Omnibus now, so I don't need these anymore. And these are awesome. Uh, Terry Moore. If you haven't read Strangers in Paradise or anything by Terry Moore, you should definitely check these out. If you can. And I'm not going to show too much more. This is a lot. Uh, I bought two copies of Plutona. Uh, this is really good. This is a four-part mini-series. There's only one more to go. I really liked it so far. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up with two copies of issue one. So you can check that out. Uh, living... Oh yeah, The Dying and the Dead. Eh. Wasn't for me, but if you want it... Oh, there's some fade-outs in here. Yeah, I never... Oh, there's issue one. I have the, uh, the magazine variant for issue one, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, but if anybody wants issue one and two, there you go. And over here, so we can zoom in a bit here, if possible. Uh, all right. Uh, so I've sold Saga one to twelve on eBay. Um, my issue number one was the second uh, print. Uh, but anyway, I got tired of Saga, so I started selling them, but I still have 13 to 24 or 5, something like that, I don't remember. Um, but there's that. I recently bought my very first Loot Crate. And the one thing I didn't care too much for were these uh, Shredder sunglasses, because I'm just... I, I don't dislike Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, teen, pff, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles but uh, I'm just not a big fan, so... I didn't really care about having these. Um, what, can you see that? <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, that was my first Loot Crate. I bought this Loot Crate specifically because uh, it had Fallout 4 and Hunger Games stuff in it. I really like the uh, the Vault Boy in it. It looks exactly like the ones in the game. That was really cool. Um, but anyways, so anybody who would like these, uh, let me know. And there's other stuff that can be in the prizes as well. I got some doubles of these uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mystery. I don't know which ones these are, but I know they're doubles. <laughs> uh, which one is this? Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And 
that was the other one. Oh, yeah. I got a couple of different versions of him actually. I think I have one that's like metal, or uh, not actually made out of metal, or is it made out of metal? I don't remember. Anyways. So there's like little other, like, you know, little things like that that could be, I could end up throwing in there as a surprise or whatnot, you know. Um, what else can I show? I don't want this to be too long. Uh, you know what? That's it. Oh, oh no, I'll show you one more thing actually. One thing that I tried to um, have as a prize in my first contest, my 100 subs contest, here we go was this. Uh, my mom used to collect Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Spike, and Angel comics, and I tried giving this away as a prize uh, in my first contest. One person wanted it, uh, but they didn't end up winning, and I tried selling this multiple ways on eBay, uh, all as a, a box for really cheap, and uh, I only ended up selling Angel 1 to 17. Yeah, I think that was it. That's, those are the ones that I actually managed to sell. Um, so, if you want a list <laughs> uh, of all this, I do still have the list of everything that's in here. Um, so you can let me know about that. Um, if you want this, like you can have the whole box if you win. Uh, none of them are bagged and boarded, but they're all in pretty decent shape. And uh, I can even fit a few more things in there too. Um, because I'll just send it in this box. So I can actually fit a bit more comics in there too. That's a big box, but it's, yeah, it's over a hundred or around a hundred. I don't remember. Excuse me, issues. There's a couple of magazines in there too. And, oh, there's magic in here for some reason. I opened it. I guess I haven't used it. I don't play magic anymore, but for a little while I was still uh, buying the occasional uh, intro pack or booster or whatever just because I like them. <laughs> um, but that's there. If you want it, I guess you can have that too. <laughs> um, happy, complete one before. Yeah, all right. You know what? That's it. Uh, so when uh, you enter the contest, you can, you know, pick, pick, uh, couple of things here that you would really like to win the most and I'll try to make sure that uh, you get that. Oh, and this is complete too actually. Uh, where is it? Trillium? That's a complete set. Um, and then I'll, I'll also throw in some random stuff just as a, as a you know surprise because surprises are fun. Um, so yeah that's basically how I'm going to uh, dish out the prizes. Like you can pick uh, something that you've seen here, like a like a set or a stack of something or whatever, uh, title, and uh, if you win, I'll get you that, and along with some other. Well, yeah, it depends how many uh, winners there are. So you know, if you pick something that, if two people pick the same thing, um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> like if both people want a bunch of Scotty Youngs, I can you know split those up or whatever. Um, and then the rest of stuff will be random, like a loot bag, loot box, whatever, you know. And, oh! Alien! Resident Alien. Uh, I have the issues of this. Um, Jeez. <laughs> Hard for me to see here. Uh, Alright. Resident Alien. Uh, I have the issues of this. Uh, and then in the summer, the comic book shop I guess they had a whole bunch of uh, the graphic novel versions, the trades um, that they couldn't sell. So they were selling these for like two bucks, I think it was. So I bought a couple of them because uh, I think that would be a good price. This is really, really good if you haven't read this. Um, all right, yeah, that's it. And uh, how many winners there's going to be depends on how many uh, entries I have. Um, so I'm sort of doing like what Don did. Um, if there's 10 entries or less, uh, there'll be one winner. If there's more than 10 entries, there'll be multiple, uh, but I'm not going to decide how many uh, entries I need for how many winners yet. I'm just going to wait until the contest is over and then just decide how many winners there's going to be. And it'll be a random draw. And um, since it's the holiday season, 
I'm going to give uh, five weeks. So until January 11th, that'll be the closing date. All right, so from now until January 11th, you have uh, until then to submit your entry. And okay, so I think that's it. Have I forgot any details that you think I should have mentioned? Uh, let me know. Um, but I think that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, see ya.